friends, I'm Dr. Kavita Rao. I'm the lead cornea cataract and LASIK surgeon at Aditya Jyot Eye Hospital, a unit of Dr. Agarwal's Eye Hospital at Mumbai. Are you thinking about LASIK surgery, but are you confused at what is the best option for you? I'm here to talk to you about different types of LASIK surgery. Now let us start with what is exactly LASIK surgery. LASIK or refractive surgery is a surgery to change the shape of your cornea, which is the front clear lens of your eye. The way it is done is that a flap is raised of the cornea and an eczema laser is used to shape the remaining cornea and then the flap is deposited back. A conventional LASIK or the blade LASIK as it is known is done by using an automated blade to raise the flap and then the eczema laser is used to shape the cornea. This has been going on for almost more than 25 to 30 years with very good results. Now you may ask that if this is working so well then what is the need for advancements? The advancements are two types. First is the advancements have happened in the way the flap is raised and secondly the advancements have happened in the way the eczema is shaping the cornea. Now let's talk about how the eczema is shaping the cornea. Earlier the eczema laser used a standard beam to change the shape of your cornea depending upon the refractive power of your eye. So depend, suppose the patient had minus 4 and a couple of patients had minus 4, the same laser beam was used but now we have advan advancements where the corneal shape of your eye can then be used like by measurements by special instruments and according to the shape of your cornea a specialized laser beam can be used to change the shape of your cornea. This is what is popularly known as Contura LASIK and the, the benefits of this are that since the laser beam is matched to the shape of your own cornea and matching the eczema laser beam to that and that is the reason the results are superior, the quality of vision is a lot more superior. Now let's look at how the advancements have happened in the way the flaps are raised. The flap can be raised with completely bladeless technology using a femtosecond laser. What the femtosecond laser does is it uses multiple micro pulses into your cornea at the depth whatever is required and the laser itself creates the flap so no blade ever touches your eye. Now you may ask what are the advantage of this? Even in the best surgeon's hand sometimes with a blade LASIK certain complications flap related complications can happen especially if the cornea is steep or if the cornea is flat in bladeless LASIK, all of these complications are completely eliminated because no blade is ever touching your eye. And that is the advantage of a bladeless or a femtosecond laser. What are the other benefits of bladeless LASIK? In bladeless LASIK, we also create a side cut while making your flap. The creation of this side cut makes and ensures that the flap is a lot more stable and hence the chances of flap related complications post surgery are completely minimized. Now what are the advantages of all of this? Conventional LASIK, the downtime for all your activities like swimming, makeup, exercises, if it is about like two weeks, it is much lesser with femtosecond laser. You can go back to most of your activities within a week. Now, what is the third kind of advancement? The third advancement is SMILE. What is SMILE? It is small incision lenticule extraction. What essentially this does is that this is the most advanced technology because it is not only it is flapless, it is also bladeless, so no blade is touching your eye and there is no flap in the cornea. Now obviously the advantages of this is in the, in the, in like in the technology itself. Because there is no flap, there are no flap related complications. Now what exactly SMILE does? It uses femtosecond laser, it creates multiple pulses into your cornea and creates a lenticule. This lenticule is depending upon your number, your corneal shape and on a predetermined depth the lenticule is created and this lenticule is then extracted from your cornea through a very small incision. Now because there is no flap, this surgery is perfect for patients who play a lot of contact sports like rugby, athletes, professional uh, uh, sportsmen and also for patients who uh, like you know wish to join the army, navy and military and the, this is an ideal surgery for them. Now you may ask why we don't perform this surgery for everybody. This surgery has a few limitations into the amount of number it can correct. It is not uh, it's not very accurate as of now for correcting plus number but it gives great results for minus numbers. Let's talk about what is ASA or advanced surface ablation. 
This is a technology of LASIK where a flap is not created on the cornea and with the laser beam itself the shape of the cornea is changed. Now this technology is used when your cornea is very thin and if it's not possible to raise the flap. Now the disadvantages of this technique sometimes can be that longer recovery or pain after surgery and also the risk of post-operative haze. Now what happens if your number is very high and you're not fit for LASIK? Do you need to be disappointed? No. If your number is extremely high, higher than 12, 15 diopters, and if your cornea is very thin and you're unfit for LASIK, we still have options for you to correct your number. There is a technology called as Fakic IOL where a very thin lens is implanted in front of your eye, in front of the natural lens of your eye and this corrects your number. This is completely safe, there are no side effects but it depends on various measurements that we take before your surgery. So do not wait any further, come and get your pre-LASIK evaluation done and get freedom from glasses. Thank you very much.